I mean, in some ways, I think the report crystallizes the lived experience of people. Um, and, and I don't know if Leslie feels this way, but things that we have known. Um, but we've known them anecdotally. We have not known them at scale. We've not known them across the reins. Um, and to assemble that kind of information is really quite powerful and important. Plus, I think the, the smaller case studies or the stories of individual people really personalizes it so it doesn't seem like it's just an abstraction. Um, so it's a very beautifully arranged report, very easy to read. So I think it's a very well put together, as you said, report. I think it's uh, easily read. So I will be disappointed if people don't read it mm -hmm. and find information that's pertinent to them. Uh, were there surprises in the information? No, not particularly, um, which in some ways is reassuring because it means that there aren't things that we haven't thought about before. Yep. But are they put together as a whole? Very well. Yeah. Um, and I'll be amazed if it doesn't help to push the agenda forward. Yeah. And the fact that there are such clear directors of how, um, directives of how people can get involved, that's really very powerful so that, that folks can't just read it and go, oh, that's really interesting now. It's like, this is what I would like for you to do. I think that's going to go a long way to allowing different um, sets of communities to be able to action all the work that's there. I don't think there has to be a something that happens, uh, one thing that happens to be next. I think what has to happen is that people take ownership of that report because if it's a report that's simply produced, beautiful though it is, and is then just to be found on a bookshelf, then that isn't what the whole point of, of, of it is. So um, there are bits I would like to see happen, but just because I want to see them happen <laughs> doesn't make them that they should happen first. So yeah. I think people have to take ownership. And just as there was a, a call at the end for people to take ownership and to then take actions themselves, not to wait for somebody else mm -hmm. to take the action, I think is a very important message uh, and one that I look forward to seeing what actually does come forward. Mm -hmm. um, and that isn't to say that you and I won't do actions, we will but I'm looking forward to seeing what other people do as well. Absolutely, and it's, and it's clear that I think RSC wants to do things like the bullying and harassment hotline in 2019 and the Carers Fund, but I think that I think Leslie's absolutely on, on point about the opportunities for all sorts of people to engage with this and figure out pathways. Um, and I would imagine, um, as with other reports that are of similar nature, that UKRI's um, strategic group that is thinking quite criti mm. critically about equality and diversity and inclusion will add this as another voice and perspective of, a, of another set and sector who's grappling with these issues so that we can figure out how best to respond. Yeah.